This is Twit. A phishing attack successfully gained access to a reseller's admin control of domain name registrar Melbourne IT yesterday. Attackers were able to redirect the New York Times domain name to a site reportedly infected with malware. Other domains registered with Melbourne IT were similarly infected, including twitwimg.com, the domain for Twitter's image hosting service. Twitter.com itself had a registry lock in place, so it was not affected. As domain name servers refresh their caches, which sometimes can last up to 24 hours, proper redirection is being restored. HTC may be working on a China-specific mobile OS, reports the Wall Street Journal. The publication also says that Sher Wang is closely overseeing the project and is working directly with the state authorities in China to see that it meets approval. All of this points to a new OS, not an Android fork, one that's tightly integrated with China-specific services such as Weibo. Apple just purchased another company. This time, it's a Swedish company called Algotrim. Algotrim technology includes lossless compression algorithms that also reduce the amount of memory a phone would need to perform tasks. For the past few years, Algotrim was focused on Android-based phones, but that'll probably stop since, you know, and Apple is not exactly Android-friendly. I used to take algo trim. I, I lost like 10 pounds. The Nexus 4 phone just got really inexpensive. The 8 gigabyte model is on sale through the U.S. Google Play Store for $199, while the 16 gigabyte model is $249. That doesn't sound cheap to you. You're forgetting those prices are without a contract, unsubsidized prices. Similar price drops of about 25% apply in Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Spain, Korea, and the U.K. Parallels is bringing its virtualization software to the iPad. They've done something similar to iOS before, but this is the first one dedicated specifically to making hard software rather and documents from Windows and Mac machines work in a native way on the iPad, complete with gestures. The new app, which is priced at $80 for a one-year subscription, covers one device. Additional devices that get virtualized cost another $80, but it also comes with a number of features like an app launcher, app switcher, and a dedicated keyboard. Facebook released its first global government requests report on Tuesday. It details official requests from 74 countries covering the first six months of 2013. Facebook didn't explain why the requests were made, but disclosed the number of total requests for each country. The U.S. led the pack by asking for information on over 20,000 users. Facebook said it hopes to publish similar reports every six months from now on and hopes future reports will contain more information about requests they receive from law enforcement. We are number one, USA. USA. Andy Palmer, Nissan's executive vice president, told reporters yesterday that Nissan will be able to bring multiple affordable, fully autonomous vehicles to the market by 2020. Nissan demonstrated the cars, which they have developed in-house, although they say they don't preclude the possibility of working with Google or others. Nissan's system does not have to be connected to the internet, unlike the Google one. Nintendo is releasing a new version of the 3DS, the Nintendo... 2DS, a cheaper mm -hmm. 2D-only handheld console compatible with 3DS and DS games. It's priced at $130, so it's $50 cheaper than the 3DS. The company also announced a $50 price cut for the Wii U ahead of the release of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, getting a little competitive there. The 2DS will retain the same features as the 3DS, except, of course, that 3D display. Has the same stylus, has Wi-Fi, comes with a 4-gig SD card. 3DS games are still more expensive than what you'd get on iOS or Android, but Nintendo is betting that price tag would be worth it. I'm waiting for the 1DS. So <laughs> one line. A paperweight. <laughs> Vic Condotra announced on Google Plus that Google Hangouts are switching to 720p HD video. A select group of users may already have access. Google will drop H.264 codec for its own VP8 codec, and that new codec will require less processing power, which means most computers should be able to handle 10 720p video streams at once, as well as higher quality, lower bitrate streams across the board. H.264 plugin will still be supported for browsers that do not support VP8, and the next step is to upgrade WebRTC. Public Intelligence published an unclassified document designed for EMS, police, and security personnel that says the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the FBI are aware that Android is a primary target for malware attacks. The report says 79% of malware threats are on Android and that SMS Trojans represent nearly half of the malicious applications circulating today on older Android operating systems.